It's a new year. Same old stock market. IDXG, ATRM, went to the moon. And I'm delighted to catalog and serve these videos to you guys on a week by week basis just to save you guys for the rest of the year. Because I might not be some, I might not be some trading champion, but I can be the people's champion. Learning together, growing together, winning together, trading together. We make our own luck in this world and luck favors the brave. And if that's not the secret to happiness, then I don't know what is. And if it's not hard work, um, I think that the secret to happiness is, is being good looking. Um, because if you think about it, there's like nines and tens every day. Like they don't even go out because they're so happy. Um, so if it's not hard work and trading, it's, it's probably being good looking. But anyway, let's let's get to some of the trades. Before we just get to the trades, just a couple of people that I'd um, I'd like to like shame and some people that I'd like to fame. Um, John Wilson, been trading about 11 months, watching Trader Checklist now, a friend of mine. Keep the work up, son. You're doing an epic job. Merton, I've resurrected. I watched a video last night. Merton likes to watch me videos. Totally wasted. And um, I don't care how you watch the videos. You can watch them drunk. You can watch them like... I don't know, like whatever you guys do in America, um, or like you can you can watch them like sober, like most people. But cheers, Merton, you crazy Swede in Brazil. Uh, Kane has also been following the journey. Thanks a lot, Kane. Ignore the trolls. Actually, the trolls have made this this most recent video the most popular one yet. So keep on hitting, guys. Keep on hitting you inbred dumb humans and um, spoiled little baby brats. And uh, just one last one, Scale Electric. Um, the guy's been like literally watching every single video since the beginning. Like he watched them all from the start to see the entire journey. And it's epic that you guys watch that. And um, yeah, and I'll say keep on, before I get into this, I'm trading with um, Timothy Sykes. Um, it's been a wild ride, but I've, it's been a very good one. And I'm just, I feel like I'm just coming in at profitability. Um, you can trade with Tim too. I tr I'm live on Snapchat. Um, junk1987, Twitter, Junk87, StephenJohnsonStocks.com. Follow me on Profit.ly. I'm like the 85th most followed person in the history of Profitly. So follow me on there. And uh, and if you want to carry on hating, carry on hating. But remember, if you hit on this video, I will look at your details. I will do my research into you and I will strike down with furious anger those who decide to cross me. Trades. Okay, so this is ATRM. As you can see, it ran from the, the 250s right up into the 5s. If we look um, on a, on a one-year chart, it's pretty much done nothing. It's all down trending. But the reason I wanted to buy this into the close is because, I mean, as you can see, it's um, every time it kind of has a big down volume, it grinds up. Uh, gaps up, sorry, Every, and then here again, big down volume, gapped up. Then here again, big down volume, it's it's more than likely going to gap up. And um, that's exactly what it did. Um, if you can see, if you're buying it um, right into the close. Sec. My error, still getting used to this a bit. Still getting used to stocks to trade, but it is fucking epic. Brilliant software, I mean... Once it kind of takes out this high here in the three the three forty one area, then I think it's it's you're at the point where you're safe to buy into the close, and then look, it runs into the close, um, and you could have had from three sixties, and it's in the four fifties now, and it'll probably run today as well. Um, so it was the right idea. Um, my problem was if we just go back out. I was trying to be smart, buying it off support um, in the three eighty sixes, which was just a bit of a daft idea because. When it kind of fell, um, I was buying it kind of little after two o'clock, thinking oh, I'm dip buying it. Look, it's dropping, dropping, dropping. I'm going to hit it on support, um, and it just fell straight through support, and uh, I didn't have a tight enough stop loss on. And I think it's not bad to try and buy it off support when it dips, as long as you've got a very, very tight stop. But otherwise, it's um, I mean, it's a case of buy buying it right until the final minutes of the close, and a hundred dollar loss could have been a five, five, six hundred dollar profit, and it's just timing. It's just timing, and it's sad. And I was a bit fucking miserable this morning, thinking I'm never gonna get trading. But it's the simplest thing of just buying it at the right time. Had the right had the right thesis. It did what I wanted. It's just I was just too stupid, and I didn't. I just bought it at the wrong time. So 
So, H A A R here. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? All right, I bought this in the uh, on the whole, like kind of not not too about it, not too about a chart. I think it had some sort of news. It's a some sort of virtual reality glasses company or something. Um, may as well just jump to two days. Um, had some news uh, in the afternoon, two o'clock yesterday ran. Um, and then it totally uh, started to kind of collapse today, and uh, and then it, it's harder to see. I mean, let's look at that on a one-minute chart. And um, I mean, it was it was collapsing, and then it's kind of making this kind of U shape here, where it looked like it was going to spike back up. So I was in in the 60s, and um, then. It was kind of testing red to green, uh, and it wasn't coming. I should have sold in about the 68s, but I sold sold that 160 for a tiny, tiny loss. And uh, thank God I did, because when I couldn't go green, kaboom, need I say more. You are all right, lad. You are all right, lad. You, you are a, you are a, okay, you are a. Um, I mean, on the whole, this is a, um, a uranium company, so it's not my favorite play. Long-term chart's pretty bad. Um, but if you take a look at the two-month chart, um, right here on the um, on the 174 level, it's kind of it's kind of looks like it's breaking out of multi-month highs. And uh, we were buying on on this 174 um, anticipation of this breakout. And uh, if you check the chart, you can see that it kind of it kind of did break out. I mean, it it tested the the next level of highs. Um, I was in at let me take a look. I was in at 181. Um, so I was in kind of here as it was making new day highs and as it was breaking out. And um, I watched it go up to the the kind of the 88. Failed to break out, failed to, to beat the final resistance level, and as it was kind of dithering around here, I actually got out on this candle. I was like, "It's oh, this candle." I was like, "It's not convincingly breaking out. It's struggling." Um, and I'm just and just like the last trade you saw with here, I was like, "I'm not going to hang around for it just to fail." So I sold that 186, took a small profit, and um, and as you can see, because it it failed to break out. It's it's the stock's done. Like it might come back in the afternoon, but that's a world away from now. And there's much better players like um, ETRM, which is uh, people are making thousands of bucks on. Well, I'm watching a shitty uranium stock. So how about that? And uh, like as you can see, I'm winning. Like I won like th one out of three. I shouldn't have made the ETRM change. But it's about growing this year. It's about growing into becoming a successful, profitable trader. Done the hard work over the last eight months. It is clicking. Starting to have the account balance. Everything's in place for the growth now. And uh, I want you guys to grow in and be successful too. So I just want you to be like, I'll not fail. I mean, we should say it together. I should be like, we will not fail. 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 I'll see you later.